Hello there guys, and welcome to the review on the HFC HG125 gas powered handgun. So, when you receive your gun, it comes in this nice little box. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the lid, place that aside. You get this nice sheet of paper here, just uh, with a few instructions on, on how to refill with gas and reload the magazine if you're ever stuck on that sort of stuff. You have a small bag of 6mm BBs here, pretty decent quality so you can use them, and then you have the gun itself. The gun will be held down in the box by a small cable tie, so you just have to use a pair of scissors or a knife just to cut that off. So here's the gun itself, and it is much like its um, HG, let me just get the number, it's much like the HG123 airsoft uh, handgun as it's basically the same except it has this new style grip with the little piece added on the bottom and it has this extended barrel as well along with new uh, hammer and trigger. So a very very decent handgun with this, you're looking anywhere between the 2A and the 310 FPS mark. Um, if I just check the stats again, um, it comes in with a range of anywhere between 40 and 50 meters which is you know, a pretty decent range, uh, well it's a very decent range uh, considering it is a pistol. Uh, that's mainly down to the fact that the inner barrel actually comes to about midway in the extended part here and on the standard model it comes to just before the, uh, the end of the actual gun. Okay so it is a gas gun and we're going to show you how to reload the gas later but um, it is entirely made of an ABS plastic apart from a few parts including the hammer, the safety over here and the trigger. So uh, a few metal parts but mainly an ABS plastic. The blue plastic parts are not painted, they are manufactured to be blue so there's no worries with paint chipping off or anything of that sort. Um, very very solid as well, not shaky unlike other guns you know there's a there's there's literally no wobbling, no shaking around with this, so it's not going to break in your hands or anything like that. Okay, so safety with this it does have the working safety right here. And when it is pushed down, that is fire, and you can easily squeeze the trigger, push it up, and that is safe. Just to mention, it does also have a dummy safety on the other side. Uh, this doesn't actually do anything, I don't believe. Um, if it does, please let me know. But um, looks like just a dummy, but looks pretty cool on the other side just to give it that little bit of uh, symmetrical feel about the gun. Um, now, reloading the magazine. There is a magazine release catch right here, but you're not going to be pressing that because that's a dummy. Uh, what you're actually going to do is you're going to go ahead down the bottom, and you're just going to grab your nail and pull the magazine out right here. Just going to pull that out, and that's going to leave you with this. Then you pull the spring down, lock in place at the bottom, grab your pouring pot or your speed loader, hold down this small metal piece at the top and just pour the BBs in. There we go, that'll do for us. And then you're going to go ahead and just pop the magazine back into the gun and using a swift, short motion just slam it, well not slam it, but aggressively uh, push it back into the gun just to ensure that the magazine, uh, the, the BBs in the magazine are released and not spewed all over the insides of the gun. So there you go. And once you've done that, you're going to want to turn the gun upside down, grab your gas. Kick-ass gas is available on the website in 750 and 200 milliliter bottles. And then you're going to take the gas, hold the gun and the gas upside down, slide the, the nozzles together, and just pop a bit of gas in. You'll need to hold your gas canister down a bit longer if you want a full charge on this. And once you have a, a full refill, uh, this should get through anywhere between two to four magazines worth on a single refill. So, pretty decent gas consumption. And so that's basically it. My final thoughts about this is that it's a, a pretty decent gun, has some good specs to go along with a nice uh, build quality. Not shaky at all, few metal parts as well, very very nice. Um, this is the 
extended version of the HG123, this is the HG125, so uh, make sure you go ahead and check out the HG123 review as well, that's also on the website, you can just find that by searching for uh, pistols. Um, so this is available along with the 0.12 gram ammunition, 0.2 gram ammunition, kick-ass gas in both 750 and 200 milliliter bottles, and ghillie suits, assault vests, holsters, all of that sort of gear is also available on the website as well, so make sure you check them out. So I've been Steve, and I'll see you guys next time.